Good morning. Welcome to my channel, The Angels of Alchemy. I'm spiritual medium and angelic channel, D. Graywall, and this is going to be the weekly energy read for Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo from July 12th to July 18th. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. Let's go ahead and move into your reading. So the first card that I pulled is from the Ganesh deck, and it says energetic movement. What I'm getting here is that there's a lot of fast-paced energy right now. Um, energy is gaining momentum. But also what I'm feeling here within you, there's this stuck and stagnant energy. So you're being guided to move, to get up, to get walking, to exercise, to get out in nature, to move the stagnant energy within you. There's a lot of unhealed and suppressed emotions that I'm sensing here. And it's created a lot of stagnant energy within and you need to get that energy moving. Because what we have here also is the Three of Swords is clarifying energetic movement. I do feel that you're holding on to past hurt, pain, trauma. Um, there's been some kind of, kind of ending within a romantic partnership or relationship or there's been endings within relationships in general, okay? The Three of Swords is a card of hurt. It's a card of grief. It's a card of betrayal, okay? Sometimes this is talking about third-party scenarios, all right? But it's clarifying energetic movement. So there's stored and blocked energy that you've been holding onto. You've been kind of suppressing a lot of emotions and feelings, and you're being guided to release this energy and you know, how are you going to release it? Well, one, you could go for healing. All right. This is about doing healing work on yourself or seeing someone who does energetic healing work. Okay. But also it's about moving your body. Um, I, there's times where I have thrown myself into exercise or thrown myself into a workout. And as a result, there's been an outpouring of emotions when I've completed a workout. And this is because you're clearing out stuck energy. So you need to get moving. But this also tells me, being that the Three of Swords is clarifying energetic movement, if you've been in a place of feeling hurt, feeling betrayed, going through emotional wounds, all right, we do have Chiron retrograde and it's stationed retrograde um, on Saturday in the sign of Aries, which is going to have you dig deep into your emotions, your thoughts and your feelings. Um, so if there's been a lot of emotions you've been storing and holding on to, you are going through a period of healing. And I'm also getting the sense and feeling that where you've been feeling stuck, energy is going to gain momentum now as well. So the next card I ha have here is self-sabotage. Okay. So there is a feeling of you're kind of, what I'm sensing for you, Earth Signs, is you're, you've been repeating the same cycles over and over and over again, hoping for different results. But this, as you've been doing this, there's no real change that you've been making, okay? You are your own worst enemy here. You are blocking yourself from a new start and new beginnings due to addictions and behavior patterns that have really gotten you stuck. You're afraid to move forward. Um, I do feel that you're being guided in a direction, but you're not taking steps. You're not taking action. You're not moving the energy to move forward. And you're very caught up in your thoughts and your feelings and your emotions. But it's time to put the weight down and it's time to get out of your own way. I do feel that you have an incredible guidance system and support system here, okay? You're, you're receiving messages via your intuition, but I do feel supportive energy of your team, your guides that are trying to work with you to break free from these self-sabotaging self behaviors and patterns that you've kind of been cycling over and over again. It's time for you to break free of a certain pattern. You do have the eight of ones clarifying self-sabotage. It's like you're keeping yourself stuck. Some of you, I feel that you keep looking back to the past in regards to a relationship or people that you're having to leave behind and close the door on. You're not wanting to let go. You're not wanting to move forward. And so therefore that self-sabotaging behavior. The eight of wands is a card of movement, moving forward. 
It can be a card of communication coming in. Be wary of the communication that you receive right now from people, especially when you're dealing with relationships. Now, remember, Mercury was re retrograde and it just start stationed um, direct. Excuse me, I can't talk today. It just st stationed direct on Sunday the 12th. Um, however, it's going to be in a shadow aspect for the next two weeks or so. So if this, if you've been in a period of lack of communication from particular individuals, especially when you're dealing with romantic partnerships and relationships, and now all of a sudden you receive communication, be very careful of falling back into a pattern. All right. Um, perhaps this person puts you into a place of self-sabotage. So be wary of that. But I do sense here that this is a time of you taking action, moving forward, moving towards um, a time of, of moving towards what you feel passionate about. When we're dealing with ones, it's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it's fire energy, okay? But this is about you moving forward to your dreams, your goals and desires, taking action, okay? Feeling inspired, getting creative, but really breaking free of this self-sabotaging energy here. You do have the Hierophant as well. Perhaps um, you've been dealing with a situation or circumstance where you're seeking commitment in a relationship, but the person that you're dealing with hasn't been offering you commitment. They've been offering you something less than what you truly deserve. So again, for some of you, I'm feeling third party situations. Perhaps the person you're dealing with is married already or in a committed relationship and you're expecting more out of this situation and yet you're settling for less than what you truly deserve because this person is not honoring you and giving you the commitment that you truly desire. This is also about you taking action towards moving to a time where you you know, attract partnerships and relationships that give you what you want and what you truly need. This is also about you taking action towards your spiritual path. Okay. Um, the Hierophant is, is a spiritual teacher. This can talk about religious organizations. Okay. But this is about you tapping into your desires and what you feel passionate about. Perhaps you've been, um, stepped away from meditation or some kind of spiritual practice that you had in place and you're being guided to step into that again to follow those things that you know those tools those methods that do work for you so you can break free of this self-sabotage but being that we already had the three of swords here for some of you I'm really feeling about settling in relationships that aren't giving you what you truly desire you need to move into you meant you need to make a better commitment to yourself okay commit to yourself and when you step into committing to yourself and your needs and desires people will honor and match that vibration the next card we have here is self-love so again this is about you breaking free from self-sabotage from thoughts of feeling unloved or feeling unworthy or feeling not good enough from walking away from situations where people make you feel that way, where people don't honor you, where they don't love and respect you, where they're not meeting your desires and needs. You need to love and accept yourself. And if you've been kind of in this place, you don't love and accept yourself, where you don't feel confident, you're going to continue to attract lower vibrational relationships, relationships that don't honor you, that don't give you what you truly desire and what you want and what you need. And so the universe is guiding you to walk away from situations that aren't honoring you here. Okay. And step into loving yourself and accepting yourself. Once you do this, you will align with people who match your goals, your dreams and desires. Now clarifying self love, you have the lovers. This is a card of Gemini. Okay. This card talks about choices. It talks about decisions. Now, we did have the three of swords above, right? And energetic movement. And then we have self-sabotage here. So some of you are not moving away from a relationship because you're fearing the unknown. You, you don't want to be alone. And yet you're not doing yourself any justice. You're not making yourself a priority here. There's a decision that needs to be made in regards, in regards to romantic love. Okay, this situation is not meeting your needs. Okay, um, because you also have the ten of wands 
clarifying self-love and the lovers. So this is about laying the burden down, making a decision to walk away from a situation that is not serving you. It is toxic. It's lower vibrational. I do, for some reason, the devil cards coming to mind, Capricorn energy, but you know, it talks about obsession and codependencies and temptations, but this is not a healthy scenario here. All right. And in order for you to attract the love that you truly desire and deserve, you need to love and honor and respect yourself first. The next card we have is wild. I do get the sense and feeling here. Oh, I'm sorry. We do have the five of wands also clarifying self-love, 10 of wands and the lovers. So this tells me the situation you're in, it's a no win-win situation because the five of swords energy Um, I'm sorry, did I say five of wands? (laughs) I'm sorry. Um, It's the five of swords energy. So this talks about conflict with others. This talks about there's a no win-win situation here. So I do get the sense and feeling that the person that you're dealing with, um, this seems to be both of you have different agendas I'm feeling there's no coming together here um I do get the sense and feeling there's been a lack of communication um somebody's not opening up and expressing their feelings and perhaps you're not expressing your real desires and wants and needs at this time as well but the five of swords is a card of competition it's a card of conflict it's a card of you know challenges okay and so it's time to put the weight down with the ten of wands energy okay because you're not getting there's no movement forward here the energy is stuck so let's go ahead then you have the wild card this talks about you suppressing your passions and desires and you needing to break free you know get out of the norm and get out of who you think you need to be and tap into that wild spirit within you. This is about you going deep, getting in touch with your passions, getting in touch with your desires, okay? Daring to take a leap of faith, being wild and being free. Because what I'm feeling is you've been suppressing who you truly are. And so this is about you stepping into your power and really becoming more of who you are, stepping into authentic truth, getting wild, you know, tuning into your passions and desires, breaking free of the average norm and and willing to take a leap of faith, dare to seek new horizons here. Clarifying the wild card, you have the queen of wands. You know, I feel you need to go deep. You need to get into the emotions that you've kind of suppressed for a long time. There's a lot of passion that I'm feeling here that has been suppressed. You need to let that passion out and fuel it into something creative with the Queen of Wands energy here, okay? Queen of Wands, Fire energy, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But tap into your, your spirit, okay? And allow yourself to be guided um, by your passions. Let there be inspiration from your passions here, okay? Break free from anything that is holding you back and dulling your spirit, dulling your sparkle, clarifying the queen of wands here you have the hanged one okay which is the hanged man in traditional tarot so this is about feeling stuck not able to see from a higher perspective okay you're hanging upside down right now you're not really moving in any direction but you're you're fearing taking a leap of faith as well and so there is a need for you with the hanged one with the hanged man to see things from a different perspective rise above and see things from your spiritual sight and spiritual perspective versus just seeing things from your everyday normal sight okay because you need to broaden your horizons here you're not seeing clearly you need to go into meditation because that's going to also open up your third eye and help you to see things from a higher perspective clarifying the wild card queen of wands and the hangman you have seeker of cups so in traditional tarot this is the page of cups the page of cups is somebody who's quite um emotional he's powered by his emotion but this is about seeking emotional fulfillment from new horizons 
be daring to take a new adventure and seek a new road okay break out of your comfort zone allow your inner guidance system to guide you forward on this new journey on this adventure get out of this place of being stuck right now your guidance message um, for the week is create healthy boundaries. So I do feel, yes, definitely you need to be wary of somebody coming in. Someone's going to come in with a lot of passion, okay? But there's a, I feel for a lot of you, you've been repeating the same cycle with this person over and over again. And you need to break the cycle here. Create healthy boundaries in your relationships. Don't settle for less than what you truly deserve and be very clear about your wants, your needs and desires and what you, what it is that you want with people, okay? Be clear in your relationships, express your desires, have open communication. And if you're not receiving, rest, if there's no reciprocity, walk away. It's time to leave behind toxicity. You know, with the, with the cycle that we've been in this year, especially the way the planets have been aligned, The universe is really supporting us. The planet is supporting us to make very big changes. We've had three back-to-back eclipses. If you look at the astrology of this year, it is pushing you onto your path of purpose, where you're meant to be, okay? it's um, You're closing out major karmic cycles. There's a finality to this energy. You're breaking free, finally, completely, to move forward on a brand new path, okay? And this is a time to to take a leap of faith. It's not a time to remain stagnant. You have to take action. Remember that we are co-creators with spirit. They can't do it for us, they do it with us, and they can't do it without you taking action. So that's your reading, Earth Signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. I'm wishing you a blessed and beautiful week ahead. I'll be back soon. Take care, God bless, and